again ladies and gentlemen today we will have uh, just a benchmark test of the drive uh, how fast it is uh, I'm just starting it right now I will use crystal disk mark program okay I'm starting it um, I also changed the glow the glow settings some sort of rainbow but I'm not sure if there is any change so we are using USB type C to USB type C at the moment as you can see this is the fastest possible thing Fortunately, I am not very, um, how I can say, um, amazed by the speed. I will also use a crystal disk mark. Uh, not, not crystal disk, but uh, auto disk bench. Unfortunately, I am not uh, happy with the speed. So basically, Keep in mind that uh, you always, um, the best possible speed to achieve it when it's inside your motherboard. So if you don't, 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 uh, if it's not that way, the speed will be always slower uh, because it doesn't have... Uh, connection fast enough here is the current read speed as you can see very very slow USB type C speed should be a lot 10 gigabytes per second and we receive 400 megabytes very very slow speed this is the thing which I don't like about enclosures um, yeah I will also test them with auto disk bench but first let's try with uh, with this one with um, crystal disk as you can see at the moment very very slow speed I don't think it's probably because we are using USB as you can see on the laptop no other USBs are touched so unfortunately this is it inside we have high quality Samsung Drive NVMe It doesn't help if I make a speed test with uh, if the drive is connected to my motherboard directly I will show you the result just a second so the result is quite quite different here is the result if the same drive is connected to the motherboard directly 3500 megabytes read for uh, 2475 megabytes write random IOPS read write as you can see so basically the difference is uh, night and day I would say around seven or eight times more faster compared to these external enclosures which is sad because in the end of the day you pay you pay for USB type C technology into your new computer or laptop and you also pay a lot of money for uh, your uh, enclosure and also you pay a lot of money for your hard drive NVMe in this case 
basically when this int was introduced into the market only the drive it cost around 200 great british pound which is a lot for a small drive and this is the speed result okay unfortunately this is the speed result i'm not i'm not happy with it let's try with dato let's try with dato to see i will try one gigabyte file to see if we have some improvement or not i'm not sure if we will see any improvement because Simply the, the difference is huge. But I can see. If you have an option, go grab yourself several uh, several uh, motherboard with several with with several uh, slots, MV slots and uh, this will solve your issues probably that's the better, the best possible way otherwise you won't be able to achieve good speeds even if we increase the file Speed is slow. Also, the cable is ASUS branded. As you can see, big data cable. sad because you know for such huge amount of money they should end with better results I don't think it's the drive itself I saw some results with Kingston's and other crappy drives of the people same result and regarding the ASUS software you can control only the lights with that software As you can see, this is maximum capet speed. Very, very sad. I was really expecting way, way more speed. Just a marketing gimmick. 440 megabytes per second instead of 10 gigabytes or at least 3 which I managed to, to make it when I use it internally so that was it sorry for the long video uh, if you like my videos keep watching them sharing subscribing uh, and uh, see you next time and be a reasonable buy only high quality stuff which you can afford. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.